RT is the newest chromatic brawler in the game. He's in charge of the security system inside Star Park, and with the new mystery at the hub season going on, he is very hard at work. RT has eyes and ears on everything that goes in Star Park, so he knows some of the brawler's deepest, darkest secrets, like the fact that Mortis and Dynamite are actually friends. Based on his description, they want us to believe that he's protecting everyone, but he may have a more sinister job than we think. Yes, he's totally watching over us. That's that's what he's doing. <laughs> now, I've seen a lot of theories for what RT stands for, but I think what makes the most sense is real time, which is a term commonly used for security camera recordings. I have seen some other really great suggestions, though. Either way, he's got some very suspicious voice lines. Initializing systems. Whee! I'm losing my mind! Whee! I'll share all of his voice lines at the end of this video. RT's main attack is tap target. He fires a single projectile that looks a lot like the alarm light on his head. The light will stay on whatever target it hits for a few seconds, and the next projectile that will hit that target will deal double the damage. That's right, I said double, okay? In Brawl Talk, the next attack would only deal 10% more damage. They have since buffed it to 100% more damage. And because each attack remarks a target, that means that the mark will stay on an enemy that he hits multiple times times in a row. With that being said, the mark will not stay on the brawler forever, so if a brawler is not hit by any projectiles for 5 seconds, the mark will disappear. RT's super is hide and seek. His bottom half separates from his top half, and he basically becomes a whole new brawler. You control his top half while his bottom half will stay in one place wherever you activated it, and his main attack becomes a short range attack, very similar to Jackie's main attack, with a circle around him. But every time you use it, his bottom half also uses that attack at the same time, and it has the same range but does deal a little bit less damage than his top half deals. If you can hit a brawler with both halves of RT at the same time, both attacks deal double their damage and remark the target, which is honestly insane. When RT uses his super in this form, his top half will actually teleport him to his bottom half and he will instantly gain 1000 health. Unlike 8-bit's teleport, which has a maximum teleport distance, there is no limit to how far they can teleport back to his bottom half. Just keep in mind that RT's super does have a big weakness. If RT's bottom half dies or his top half dies, Dies, both halves will die and you'll have to wait to respawn. With that being said, if RT does not attack or take damage, then his bottom half can heal, so you're going to want to make sure you leave it in a safe place. RT's first gadget is in line. This gadget can only be used if RT is split in half. He sends a signal from his top half to his bottom half, and anything that gets hit by the signal will take 500 damage, and more importantly, get slowed down for two seconds. This signal can hit any number of targets, and it can even go through walls. The positioning does have to be really good though, but I do think that it will work if RT has his super charge already, because if he hits someone far away, then he can teleport right next to them for some easy hits. RT's second gadget, which I'm much more excited for, is Hacks. This gadget can only be activated if there are enemies on the battlefield that have been marked by his attack. Right when he activates this gadget, the mark instantly deals damage equal to RT's attack damage. Now, if you use this gadget, the marks will go away, so keep that in mind. But since you can have multiple enemies marked at one time, you can actually deal insane amounts of damage, depending on how many targets are marked when you activate the gadget. RT's first star power is Quick Maths. This star power adds three more seconds to the duration that marks will last on enemies. Without the star power, they last for five seconds, but with it, enemies will have to wait for a full eight seconds if they're waiting for the mark to disappear. This will allow RT to mark more than one target much easier. RT's second star power, which I'm even more excited for, is Recording. When RT is split in half, all damage dealt to him is reduced by 20%. Now, there might be a little bit of a bug, though, because it looks like the damage on his lower half is reduced by 70%, which is absolutely insane. Even though the bottom half does not move, it will take forever to kill it. That basically brings the total health of his top half to 8,460 and the total health of his bottom half to 12,240 HP. That's more than any brawler in the game. Another interesting thing about the star power is that you don't see a visible shield with it, so you won't know if he's using the star power until you actually deal damage to him if you're paying really close attention his dear damage. Now that we've seen how RT works, it's time to compare him to every other brawler in the game in the Brawl Stars Olympics. We're going to start with his worst test and work our way up to his best test, and then we'll talk about how strong I think he's going to be. First up is the super range test. Now, RT technically has two supers, but neither of them have any range at all. <laughs> because his super range is zero tiles, he ties with Rosa and Leon for 63rd place. Next is the super damage test, and whether RT is using his ability to split himself or to reassemble himself, once again, it does zero damage. So this actually ties 
against his super with 11 other brawlers that have supers that don't deal any damage at all. So he takes 54th place. Next, we have the box test. RT can only hit one box with each ammo, and he can't use his super to change forms, or else he would have done a lot better in this test. Even though he can only hit one box at a time, each of his shots actually marks the boxes, so it only takes two or three shots to break them open. RT breaks open the last box at one minute and nine seconds, which puts him in 54th place. Next, we have the supercharge test, and RT has to land four projectiles in order for him to charge up his super, and he only fires one with each ammo, so he has to reload one shot. He charges his super in 3.5 seconds and gets 49th place. Next is the reload reload test. Now I tested both forms in order to see which one has a faster reload speed and I found that his first form has a slightly faster fire rate than his second form. His second form can unload and reload 10 shots in 22 seconds, but his first form can do it in 20.7 seconds, so he dies with Otis for 35th place. We're not even halfway through all the tests and RT is better than half of the brawlers for the remainder of them. Next is the auto aim test. RT's second form deals its damage instantly, so if the enemy is inside its range, then auto aiming will obviously work every single time. However, his first form can successfully auto-aim from a little bit further away, even though it deals less damage. RT can auto-aim from four tiles away and deals 1,500 damage, so he actually ties with Bonnie for 31st place. Next is the area test. RT is able to break two rows of 10 skulls with his main attack while in his first form, and his main attack in his second form covers more area than that with just one of his halves. And since both of them have the same radius, I just doubled his score. Now his gadget can technically break an infinite number of skulls depending depending on how far apart his two halves are. But because there's no definite number and how much setup it requires, I didn't really use that for this gadget, but it's kind of cool to see. RT covers 74 skulls in total, and he ties with El Primo, Barley, and Mortis for 28th place. Next up is the race test. Now, once again, with the right setup, RT can just use his super to instantly teleport across the entire map. I'm not gonna let that count though. So instead, he switches to his second form since he can have a much faster movement speed than in his first form. When he's combined, he has a normal movement speed like most of the brawlers in the game. But when he's split up, he has a very fast movement speed similar to Crow, Mortis, and Max. RT finishes the race in 10.8 seconds and ties with Colt for 26th place. Next, we have the Swarm Test. RT switches to his second form since both of his halves together can reach almost all of the bots at the same time with their attacks. His bottom half can't quite take out the bots with one hit like his top half can, but his top half has to attack in three different spots to destroy the rest of the bots, so they're all gone after his third ammo. He defeats the Swarm in 3.7 seconds and ties with Buster for 22nd place. This actually suggests that he's going to be pretty good at dealing with multiple enemies at once. Next is the attack range test. RT's second form has a radius of three tiles, and I guess you could double it with the bottom with his bottom half, but it's not as long as his first range form, okay? His first form's attack range reaches across nine and two-third tiles, so he ties with Leon and Eve for 22nd place. Next is the boss test. RT's gadget doesn't actually help in this test because it takes the extra damage that would have been dealt by his next attack and just deals it instantly. Now, if the boss was left with less than 1,500 health on the last hit, then both of his gadgets actually would have been able to help a little bit, but it doesn't, so he just attacks in his second form until it's gone. RT is able to defeat the boss in 36.7 seconds, which puts him at 18th place in the boss test. Next is the one second DPS test, okay? RT uses his first form to mark the boss so that his second form can deal max damage. He's able to land two quick shots and quickly activate his gadget for a little extra damage before his one second is up, and deals 13,700 damage in just one second. That puts him in fourth place, suggesting he's really good at burst damage. And to confirm that, up next is the assassin test. RT basically takes the same exact approach as he did with the last one, except that I didn't let him mark the boss first, okay? However, the damage makes up for the first attack used to mark the boss, so RT ends up dealing 18,300 damage in three seconds, which puts him in third place. He's basically a long-range tank assassin, which is kind of weird. Next, we have the survival test. RT can actually survive the sniper bot forever, by splitting up and moving behind his bottom half until it gets low health and then moving in front of it to block the shots while his bottom half heals itself all the way back up. With that being said, I don't allow brawlers to use things to block shots in this test, and even if each half is RT, I still felt like it was a little bit too unfair. Even without this strategy though, thanks to his health and his star power alone, RT is able to survive for one minute and five seconds, which puts him in third place, suggesting that he's going to be great at surviving. But up next is the splash test, okay? RT RT's top half and bottom half can both reach all of the boxes, and since his attacks mark the box even in his second form, it only takes two hits to 
take all of them out at the same time. He completes the splash test in 0.8 seconds and gets first place overall. But we still have one more test that he's first at, the three attack kill test. After RT's first attack in his first form, his next two attacks deal double, which adds up to 7,500 damage. In his second form, even without marking the boss beforehand, the three attacks from his bottom and a top half together deal more damage than any other brawler in the game. He's able to deal 16,800 damage with three attacks and gets first place and is easily able to take out any brawler that gets too close to him. RT did pretty incredibly well in the Olympics, okay, but how strong do I think he's gonna be? Let's rank him in every single mode and then I'll show you all of his voice lines and pins. When it comes to gem grab, Definitely S tier, okay? Not only can he deal with enemies from a distance by himself, but marking enemies who get too close to the gem mine is going to make it very dangerous for them. Plus, as a gem carrier, he can actually teleport away with the gems. You can also play really aggressively once he's split into two parts, which makes him really great at controlling lots of areas with lots of walls and stuff like that. He's overall really great. For Brawl Ball, I think he's going to be A tier. He doesn't actually have any really amazing abilities for help helping him score goals. He's okay on defense. He's very tanky, right? But his insane tankiness and damage dealing abilities alone are enough to help him make him strong enough to at least play in Brawl Ball. For Heist, I think he's going to be A tier as well. One thing to make note is that he actually can't mark the safe. Like, once he marks it, it doesn't deal additional damage to the safe or anything like that. But he does have the, the potential to deal insane amounts of burst damage if he can get onto the safe and then split into two before attacking with it. And if he does that with an enemy close to him and the safe so that he can then recharge his super, he can then reattach and run away as he attacks the safe from a distance, okay? He's got good, consistent, regular damage from a distance and insane burst damage as well, which is also really good for defense and heist. For bounty, definitely S tier. In a long range open map, he can deal lots of damage from a distance and mark enemies so that heavy hitters like Piper or B can take them out with double damage. Like, can you imagine getting hit by a B, a charged B shot while they're gonna take double damage? Like, it's insane. Pair that with the bell, then the damage is gonna ramp up really fast at people are going to get taken out very quickly. But then you have the bounty maps that have lots of walls, and he can actually split into two and burst enemies down with his close range attack, and then use his super to retreat as well. I think RT is going to be S tier in hot zone as well. He's basically a long ranged tank, and that by itself is very useful in hot zone. Keep in mind that you can't capture the zone with only his bottom half, so he can actually only control one zone at a time, but I still think that RT is going to be plenty good at capturing zones without that ability. As for knockout, S tier again, guys. His second gadget that allows him to explode his marks on enemies is going to be very good at helping him take out enemies. And the fact that most brawlers can get one shot by B or Piper when marked by RT makes him such a good choice. As for solo and duo showdown, I think he's going to be A tier in both of them, although he might be slightly better in duo showdown, where you can actually have somebody kind of help protect his lower half when he really needs it. He is very strong, but it could be kind of a risky play for you to actually use your super to split in two, because as soon as you do that, you have to protect his bottom half, because if his bottom half dies, then he dies, and that's it for, for showdown, right? I can absolutely see a situation where you split in a half, and then the smoke starts closing in, and you can't recharge up a super in time for you to actually save his lower half from the smoke. Like, that's definitely gonna happen to somebody, right? Because charging up his super when he split is so much harder because his range is so short, and it's a little bit trickier for you to actually get up close to enemies. Overall, RT is gonna be insanely good. At least, I think he's going to be really good. I do plan on gemming him in the Brawl Pass and upgrading upgrading him and playing him against actual players so we can actually get a good feel for how strong he is before you make the decision to invest your gems in this Brawl Pass. So make sure you subscribe for that. But now let's hear all of his voice lines and I'll show you all of his pins as well. That's all I've got to say for right now. So I'll see you guys in the Willow Olympics. requesting extraction. Sorry, major malfunction. In my absence, please read the star part FAQ. <laughs> We're going to need a small break. Accessing anger management module. Contemplating, calculating. This is fine. Having minor technical issues. <laughs> Be mindful of your surroundings. I am watching you. Hope to see you soon again. Oh, you went the wrong way. Please do not ignore my instructions. Glad to
to be of service. Have a fantastic day! Oh, you seem lost. You seem in need of directions. All eyes on me. Scanning. Verify victory. RT in the place to be. Doing for the robot family. Showing myself the way to victory. <laughs> Initializing systems. Cute robot mode. Engaged. Yeah. Welcome to Star.